Jamie Vardy. What, what, what's the secret, Wes? What's his secret? Because, I mean, you've played against him on the training pitch a million times. You've won a championship with him in the team. You've played hundreds of games together. Why can he keep going the way he can keep going at this age? And what makes him so special? Because he's he's set in new marks, isn't he, for, for goals scored after the age of 30 and all. I mean, I thought right he was beating old yeah. father time, but Jamie Vardy's <laughs> made a mockery of what, what Ian was able to do. I mean, what, what's the secret? I feel, you know, with Vard, he's, he's one of a kind, you know. It's hard to try and, you know, coach or train someone to emulate what Vard is. He's a he's a one of a kind player, you know. Since I played with him, you know, we both came up more or less at the same time, and I've seen his potential. You know, he just needed his confidence to to be raised, and once he had that, and he had his belief that he can, you know, score goals against the best players, he was off and running. And yeah, it's going to be difficult shoes to fill. You know, um, we've got someone that's got the potential in the likes of Dakar. You know, he's got the he's got the pace. He's got good eye for goal, you know, he can play on the shoulder, on the soul, uh, shoulders. He can, um, you know, he, he's hardworking and they're the attributes that Vards have. Um, I just feel with Vards, you know, he's, he's achieved so much. He can keep going. He's a one of a kind specimen where, you know, his body will never change. He'll be 50 <laughs> years old and he'll be still the same shape. He'll still be eight stone, Wes, won't he? He'll still be eight stone. There you go, you know, and he'll still be pretty quick as well. So, I was, you know. I went, I was, okay, I've got to jump in. I went to the training ground once to watch you guys train. Uh, it was years ago now. Uh, you was there at the time. And uh, yeah. I went to interview Vods and I said, Jamie, what is it about the pace, you know, how do you keep your pace? Of, um, how, how often do you practice? And who's the quickest on the trail? He said, Yeah, I'm the quickest, obviously. And, said, and I don't do any sprints. I don't do sprints, Dion. I don't do sprints. I don't go to the side and do sprints. I'm just naturally this way. And it's, I don't practice it. Otherwise, if I get it wrong, I feel as I'll get it wrong on the pitch. So I just leave my pace to itself. The finishing is natural. It's what I do. I find myself in, in the right areas at the right time. And he said, I'm learning now, Dion, when to make those runs not to have to make the runs all the time. And like you said, Wes, he's a one-off because he's changed his game to suit his age as well. He's very, very clever with the way he's he sort of changed his centre-forward role, Wes. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head, you know. It's natural ability. He's had that pace, you know, naturally given to him. Um, add his talent to that, you know, his eye for goal, um, his brain, his willingness to work hard. Um, he's a complete forward and he's still going at the age mid 30s, wherever he is. So, um, you know, it's been a pleasure to play with him. You know, when we've been on the cost, we could just kick the ball, <laughs> hit the channel, but you know, he's going to be on the end of it. You know, I'm uh, sure every player means one of them on their team, you know, <laughs> that can run down lost causes. Absolutely. Um, he needs one chance and he's going to score, and, and that's the type of player he is. I suppose he brings that intimidation factor as well, doesn't it? There are certain players in the Premier League that if you're going to be up against them that day, you, you kind of know what your day's going to feel like. Yeah. And Vardy's one of those players that can have you a bit unhinged before the game even yeah. starts. And, and, and I think the other, side to, the other side to the coin with that is when you are an opponent playing against Jamie and you see his name on the team sheet, then you have to change the way that you're going to play your game because you're playing against Jamie Vardy. If he's not in the side, squeeze up, squeeze up. You can keep, there's no, there's no pacing behind. Get behind the, uh, your, 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 your centre half, uh, centre forward, sorry. Get your hand in the small of his back, keep him away. Keep, you can't do that with Jamie. You have to, if you go close to him, he'll go over the top. If you leave him to have the ball, he'll get the ball at his feet and run at you. So you can't win. And like Wes says, you've got the ball into his feet or the ball in behind his it's a nightmare to think, oh, no, I'm playing against Jamie Vardy today. I'm just glad I didn't play against him, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, Wes is glad he was on the same team as well. I, I, I know that with 